Now, space junk, as they are called, has become a new concern for space agencies. Astronauts on the International Space Station carry out an avoidance maneuver to not get hit by a piece of debris floating in zero gravity. Here's a, here's a short illustration on how the so-called space junk is formed. Take a look. Millions of pieces of man-made debris are currently orbiting the Earth. This huge cloud of space junk is suspended between 800 and 2,000 kilometers above us. Since space exploration began in 1957, fragments from more than 6,000 space launches and 600 orbital explosions have been accumulating. Old rockets, out-of-order satellites, tools lost by astronauts, and even flecks of paint pose a serious threat to future space exploration, particularly manned flights and stations. Sensors carried on space vehicles only tend to detect micro-debris, but damage from a collision can be serious due to the very fast orbital speed of this debris, traveling at some 28,000 kilometers an hour. The International Space Station, for example, has had to perform avoidance maneuvers around 30 times, and astronauts have had to take refuge five times. There is also the risk of debris slamming into the hundreds of Earth observation and telecommunication satellites which orbit the Earth. Billions of dollars worth of weather monitoring equipment, global navigation, and communication systems are at risk. The big fear is of a collision occurring and triggering a chain reaction, known as the Kessler Syndrome. Over 30,000 pieces of debris measuring more than 10 centimeters, and sometimes as big as a bus, are currently being tracked and followed from Earth by radars and telescopes. Space agencies are working on debris recovery systems. Nets, harpoons, sails, everything is envisaged to deal with the risk of collision. In 2025, ESA is due to launch the Clear Space mission, a sort of satellite cleaner that will use its articulated arms to recover a piece of an old European rocket and deorbit it.